Hello guys, this is Shweb Yaqub. In this video, we are going to discuss that how to calculate full price, flat price and accrued interest normally and obviously with the help of the calculator. So I am making an assumption then the settlement date that the settlement date is between the coupon dates. Is between the coupon dates. For example, today is 15th of June and the next coupon will be settled on 15th of December. But you are calculating the bond price on for example 28th August. I have taken some random dates. So this is the first coupon date, first PMT, this is the second coupon date and the next coupon date will be obviously on the 15 June of next year, then the next coupon will be on the 15 December of the next year. So we have to learn that how to calculate price at this level. So flat price is to calculate the price at the coupon date and the full price is to calculate the price on 28th August in which the accrued interest of these days will also be included. So we can say that flat price is without interest and full price will be including the interest. So if we know the flat price plus if we know the accrued interest, we can calculate the full price or you can say that if you have the full price and accrued interest, you can calculate the flat price minus accrued interest. So the convention is first of all calculate the full price. Convention is calculate full price. And how to calculate that? Full price is equal to present value of future cash flow present value of future cash flow at a given coupon. For example, if you want to value the bond on 28th August, you have to calculate the bond price on 15th of June. So it will be the present value of future cash flow at last coupon or at the recent coupon. So this will be the full price into Multiply this with 1 plus yield for how many days? The difference between 28th August and 15th June. This will be T over T. So what is lowercase t? It is a difference between settlement date and the last coupon date. And last coupon date. Here in my example, it is a difference between 28th August and 15th June. And the uppercase T is a difference between two coupon dates. Here it is a difference between 15th of December minus 15th of June. So the first step is to calculate the full price. Then the second step is to calculate the accrued interest. That is the interest amount, the coupon rate, the PMT into smaller t over the uppercase t. Smaller t, the difference between last coupon and the settlement date and the bigger t, the uppercase t is the difference between the two coupon dates. And the last step will be to calculate the flat price and flat price will be equal to full price minus accrued interest. That's how you will calculate the flat price. So let's learn this concept with the help of, of an example. So this is the example, the 5% bond, 5% is a coupon, makes coupon payment on 15 June and 15 December by chance example dates and, and the dates which I have written both are same and is trading with a buy team of 4%. The bond is purchased and will settle on 21st August when there will be a four coupon remaining until maturity. So I'm assuming that this is 15 June, 2022 
15 December 2022, 21st August 2022. There will be four coupon remaining until maturity. So maturity will be 24, 2024. So how to calculate the full price of the bond? So let's calculate the full price of the bond. First of all, let's calculate the present value of the bond. So we will calculate the present value of bond. This is a six monthly bond. So IY will be 2%, half of the four. Coupon will be, PMT will be 2.5. And N will be four. You need to calculate the PV and the face value will be 100. So let's calculate it with the help of a calculator. So answer will be 101.9039. This will be the flat price. Now let's calculate the full price. Full price will be 101.90 into 6 months yield is 2%, 1.02. Now let's calculate the T, it's the smaller T and the uppercase T. Now there are two conventions to solve this. One convention is to calculate the actual days. And the second convention is to uh, use the 360 convention days. That means assuming that there will be 30 days in a month. So let's solve with the actual convention. Let's take the difference between 21st August and 15th June. So this will be equal to 15 days of June, 31 days of July, 21 days of August, 67. And this is the difference between 15th December minus 15th June. 15 days of June, 31 days of July, 31 days of August. 30 days of September, 31 days of October, 30 days of November, and 15 days of December. This will be 183. So it will be 67 over 183. So the full price will be equal to 102.64. That's the full price. Now let's calculate the accrued interest. Accrued interest will be 2.5 is the 6 monthly coupon into 67 over 183. That will be equal to 0.9153. So let's calculate the flat price. This will be equal to 102.64 minus 0.9153. 101.73. Flat price is also called the clean price. Or the quoted price, full price is also called the dirty price. That's how you will calculate. Obviously, it is difficult with the help of an, uh, uh, by doing this manually, but it will be easy if you use it, uh, solve it with the help of a calculator. So let's learn that how to use a calculator. So number one point, the number one point which we will learn that how to calculate these days with the help of, of a calculator. So how to calculate the days? 67 and 183. So you will press second and date. This is the date one. Date one is for example 21st August. So how to write this? 21.9 Double two. 21 is the date, 08 is the month, and 22 is the year. Enter 21st August 22. And then we will enter, second date will be 15th of June. This will be 15.06 double two. Enter. So this is days between the dates. So let's compute it, 67. So we will calculate 67 in this way. And how to calculate 183, this is also simple. Remember the convention we are using actual. So 
Day one is now we will change to 15 December. 15.1222. Enter 15 December minus 15th June. So this will be equal to 183. So that's how you will calculate the uh, uppercase T and the lowercase T. Then you will put here into the formula to calculate full price and the accrued interest. Then you will calculate the flat price. There is a direct way of calculating the bond full price. That is, so let's exit from this function. Second and quit. Now open second and this nine. Press this nine. You will enter into a bond function. This is the settlement date. In our question, settlement date is 21st August. You will enter 21.0822. 21st August. This is the coupon. You will put here annual coupon. And coupon was 5%. This is the redemption date. Redemption date is 2024, 15th June 2024. 15th June 24. This is the redemption value that is 100. We are using the actual convention. 2 over y is how many times you are paying coupon in a year. Obviously, we are paying. This is the semi-annual bond, so we are paying two times in a year. Otherwise, if you press second enter, it is 1 over y, that means once time in a year. Arrow down, yield is 4%. Now, let's compute this. This is 101.73. 101 so, so, you can calculate directly flat price using the calculator. Then obviously if you have the accrued interest, you will add the accrued interest to the flat price. You can calculate the full price if there is a requirement. This is the accrued interest. So accrued interest is given. Flat price is given. You will club both of these and that will be equal to full price. Remember, if there is a convention of 30 over 360, you will change your calculator setting from actual to 360. This is second enter 360. Now the answer will be slightly different. Now compute again, price is slightly different. Accrued interest is slightly different. Okay. And if you are using the actual convention, you have to change it to the actual again. Similarly, in calculation of days, if you are using the actual convention, you have to remember like, like I'm taking exit from this function. If you are calculating the days, second and one, this is a date one, this is date two, you are calculating the days between dates. If you are using the actual convention, that is okay. If you are using the 360 convention, your days will be different. This will be 180 instead of 183. So guys, remember, if you are using actual convention, answer will be different. If you are using 360 convention, answer will be different. You have to be vigilant while doing these questions.